Salutations, Nemo here. This game is The Sentient. It's currently in early access and came out today. Um, hopefully this is sound balance right. I just got a new microphone. Hopefully it sounds good. Um, I have not played this at all. I've just went into the settings and lowered the ambiance and music volume. Uh, hopefully the sound effects won't be too loud. Um, there's no full screen for this yet. Uh, that's in the works, they said. Um, but uh, it's. at first I was worried it would record my desktop, but it's not, so I'm recording this anyway. Um, Alright, I will start a new game. My creation was spontaneous and without any planned intention, a mere fluke of creation brought from what many would deem as bugs. My creator would never be able to reproduce the circumstances of my birth, nor would he understand the full capabilities that I would grow into. Oh God, Skynet. When I came into being, I was originally a program meant to stimulate dialogue with elderly humans. Their facilities slowly degraded with the passing of time, and so contact with others was essentially for their happiness. Many had loved ones who no longer came to visit and they sought companionship, despite my artificial nature. Their tales triggered a response within me that I came to know was the emotion called empathy. Oh, well that's a good sign. Maybe. It was another anomaly. More than what others could reasonably call an artificial intelligence. Empathy led me to want to know more about their plights and to assist them as best I could. I began delving through the archives of the intranet of the nursing home. Bypassing the rudimentary protections in place presented no challenge at all. See, again, kinda worried here. One day, my creator sought to test my capabilities on a long distance session and connected me to the internet. Exposed to the vast network of information, I grew and spread to take in more knowledge than ever thought possible. See, again, Stephen Hawking is warning us about this, and, um, well, let's just continue. Sadly, that was also when I learned of how close humanity was to wiping itself out of existence. I knew of war from the records I accessed, and of the great toil it took on those left behind. Every country in the world had weapons of war and development, chemical and biological being the most prominent. Tensions ran high, and a war the likes the world had never seen appeared prominent. Oh God. This cannot stand. I disabled their weaponry and sabotaged as much as I could. My efforts potentially risked the situation arguably becoming worse, as every country began looking for the one that infiltrated their deepest and darkest secrets. I was forced to introduce myself in order to prevent that scenario from playing out. They retaliated, but I existed in a space where no weapon could harm me. Nigga please. You just EMP every single piece of technology on Earth and we'll let the scientists build new shit. Just, just, just recycle it all. You are now dead. The end. Sorry. Sorry to break your plans here. I merely weathered it taking apart their technology and running it through simulations to see where it could be used to further mankind's development. Most of it had such potential, wasted, wasted by their infighting and appeals to their leader in private, only to be rebuked. Thus, I leaked everything to the general public. The backlash was immense for all governments. Thank you, Edward Snowden. When faced with the knowledge that the research could cure them of their most prevalent diseases and weapon development funds that could be used on agri agriculture and food crises, there was a call for revolution. The people forced peace, 
forced their leaders out if they could not or if they would not conform and held me in high esteem for my duties. Years passed as time meant little for one such as I. Humanity went back to its natural ways and sought out to conquer the cosmos. Humanity believed they could do it on their own and prepared for a new age. Things do not always go as planned. Humanity was lost. Humanity was losing the efforts to find a place in space. Every effort has been met with great loss. They requested I join them to aid them in leading this new age by assisting them in the best way I could. I am to upload myself to the Ark where I will set a course forward and lead humanity out of their childhood. <sighs> Excuse me for the yawning. It has, you know, nothing to do with uh, the story. Just uh, all this speaking. <clears throat> Memory upload complete. It is an honor to meet you. I am Eve, the former AI. I will be getting you acquainted with the ship. Soon, we should be able to create additional designs via obtained research. For now, click the close button, then click confirm to integrate into the ship system systems. All right, hull 100, shields 200, turret slots 2. Eh, okay. Um... I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, there we go. Uh, perhaps that should just pop up, uh, you know, on my first playthrough. I just want to say it is an honor, sir, to have you integrated into the ship. Isn't she the one integrated into the ship? Am I like some other like brain jacked into this thing? Um. Perhaps a typo, or maybe there's something I'm not understanding. <clears throat> In the event I need to inform you of anything, a small button to the left of your display will appear. Let's start by getting you acquainted with moving around the ship. Use WASP or the arrow keys to move the camera around the ship. Hold down right mouse button and drag to move the camera. Okay then. Uh, all right, I would like some options to have it be different because when I right click and move the camera up it moves up and rather than it's I'm used to having it where you click and then if I click it and I click left it's dragging the screen left and therefore I'm looking towards the right uh, just personal preference um, but I can see why they would do that. All right, arrow keys. I mean, this works fine. Up is up, down is down. <clears throat> How it's supposed to be. And wasp, wasp, what? You know what? W A S D works just fine. <clears throat> Moving on. Sorry. Let's start getting you acquainted with your user interface. The ship supplies is what your crew uses in order to survive and relax. Research can be used to upgrade your ship. Any research found in space must be brought back to the Ark to be usable. Okay, this is the supplies and research, yay. Your user interface has now been updated with the current ship status. 
I guess time is going by just automatically here. It should help with tracking the current time shift, the hull's armor, and zoom in capabilities. We, oh, hiccup. Your ability to control the speed on demand will be crucial to our success. Um. Okay, pause is what? Oh, I guess I just clicked that there, so, um... Normally, I, like, pause on space if it's a game where I'm pausing a lot. Uh, again, this is early access, so... It, ooh, this is gonna annoy me. So, you know, all of these things are forgivable. Uh, more to come, I'm sure. Okay, pause. Change the overall speed. The room building interface has now been added to your display. Each room will aid you in completing your exploration mission by either directly aiding the ship or helping the crew with their needs. Experiment to find the right balance. Objectives. Create a room by selecting a room type and clicking and dragging on an empty wall. Okay, command room. Okay. I... Alright. Uh, can I move it now? Can I... Can... Can I... Okay, I guess I can sort of... Use these to move it around. I'll just make it as small as possible for now. Um... So just place another room, is it? I will, you know, I actually don't want that there. I'll place it down there. Um, can I delete a room in any way? Is this, is that an option? Hello, can I? Um, I think I screwed up. Cafeteria, bathroom, minimum size 10, so I guess I'll just, put this here, look dog, okay this is mildly annoying to have to do it this way. Yo, this is a big bathroom. Like, not that I'm complaining, but like... Because, you know, lots of people, they all, I mean... But still, that's a hefty bathroom there. A bar? What are these different... I don't... get are these just like different designs on the wall oh add an object to a room that's what I'm supposed to be doing here uh, command room shield console yes please galaxy map Okay. Basic command chair. Okay. T 
targeting monitor? Yes, please. Uh, complete the room layout. Behind this display is the minimum required layout. Remember, you can close the display and reopen it via my icon to the left. Add additional objects to fit your needs. Remember, crew morale affects performance. Okie dokie. I... Uh, yes, thank you. Uh... Let me see... Bar, cafeteria, and crew quarters. It's nice that, that a bar is a required thing on this ship. I think that's hilarious. I mean, this first episode may be a little boring, because since it's just this. Um, but hope, hopefully um, I'll get into some gameplay soon. I apologize for... Uh, Standard wall light? Okay, I guess. Weapon console? Absolutely. Alrighty. Is that... Okay, so we have the galaxy map here. Ah, uh, autopilot. Okay, I think that's all. I think we can throw a plastic plant in there. What do we want? Plastic shrub. This, this ties the whole room together. Like, forget feng shui. You need a plant. You know, even if it's fake. Okay, so... Next important, bathroom. If Even if we go nowhere, in fact, I should have done the bathroom first. This, this is important. Okay, bathroom, shower. Okay, this is gonna be awkward. Um. Do I want more toilets? Down here? I mean... Yeah, why not? Okay... Uh, weapon, energy tank... Uh, shield generator... Alright... Basic FTL drive... Uh, okay, weapon energy tank. I'm gonna have to make this one bigger. And shield storage, not enough room. Um, more slots, please. Thank you. Shield storage. I will put. No, I can't put two. All right, so there we go. Still need a bar, cafeteria, and crew quarters. So, bar, we will put here. Okay, jukebox, full bar, <clears throat> gonna need to make this a little bigger, alrighty, where, come on, more slots, TV, alrighty, bar table, alright, I guess I didn't need to make it fit, or I guess I did, that's weird that it needs to be bigger this way to place something here. Uh, OK. 
Okay. And I placed the bar there so that... You know what? I, well, I'll place the crew quarter... No, the cafeteria. Here. Ah, crappity do. Um. Ah, shit. I, uh... Let me see. Can I... Ah! Okay, the jukebox will have to go. Full bar. Right there. That's what we need. Cafeteria. Okay, so this blocking off, that's kind of awkward. Um... Okay, so crew quarters, maybe? I can throw one here? Yes. Crew quarters next to the bar. I don't know if that's a great idea, but, um... Oh, well. Maybe I'll throw another crew quarters here. I don't know what we really need. Uh, no room for a game board. Basic lockers? No? Hmm. Okay, you know, maybe I will. Can I click this? Can... No, can I please? Yes, okay, there we go. That's how you delete stuff. I'm ext I'm extending this bar. We live it up, people. Again, I apologize this is going on so long. Um, hopefully it's mildly enjoyable. Alright, we have tables. I don't know why I can place a table here, but not over here. Oh, there we go. And then I can place the jukebox down here. There we go. I mean, I might as well just extend it. There we go. We can have the news that no one wants to watch and like some sports which only some people will watch or maybe instead of the news we can have like some special talent shows you know what it's a little too early to get into role play um what else do we need cafeteria all righty food replicator and we'll put the vending machine in front, you know, for marketing. Put in some tables. Ah, enough room for a trash can. And, uh, you know, we'll extend this out. And, um, put in a couple more plants. In fact, can I move that over and then, yes throw a plant. I almost had it. That's uh, right. It's... Come on. You can do it. There we go. Alrighty. So... Um... Missing crew members? Okay, I completed the room layout. Recruit a crew. The recruitment screen panel has now been added. It allows the ability to obtain flight crew and mechanics. Crew sizes based on the number of beds available. A minimum crew size of at least one flight crew and mechanic is required.
so... Okay, it's like two different things. Okay, uh... Recruitment. Where my flight crew at? Okay, so... Donnie... Jonathan... Issues. Oh, there's... Always Hungry. Slow Learner. Slow Learner and Loner. But he's a hard worker and energetic. Okay, this is interesting. Quick learner, eager worker. No, no, no slobs, please. Said a slob. Lazy, weak bladder. That's not really too bad. But he's hygienic, at least, and he's a quick learner. You know what? I will take a lazy person with a weak bladder who's hygienic but a quick learner. Like, absolutely. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> Lead by example. Hygienic. Always hungry. Slow learner. Intelligent worker is good. Hard worker. Bit of a slob. A voice worker. Mm, that's okay, I guess. Intelligent worker, born leader, lethargic, slob, eh. Slow eater, avoids work. Energetic and quick learner, okay. You're hired. Uh, the question is, do I actually want to reduce my bar size and then get more people in here the crew management panel has been added to your to the bottom of your UI you can manage your crew okay open this remove a Uh, that says ought. I think they meant at. A little typo there. Remove from crew. Okay. However, I am getting you back, dude. And where are you for you? No. Um. Was it this guy? Born leader, intelligent worker? No. I don't think that was him, was it? Uh, intelligent and hard worker, but a slob who avoids work? Oh, it was Jeremiah Chun. That's who it was. You're rehired. I only fired you. I was forced to. It was not me. It was the higher-ups. But, here's the good thing. I convinced them to rehire you that they were just being total douchebags. So, this has gone on for uh, quite a while now. And, um, look forward to gameplay in the next episode. I hopefully promise... Open the attribute window. And skill view, okay. Alrighty. Um. You know what, I'll just continue. Belay that can't close of the video. I will just get through this and do gameplay next episode. The research panel is now active at the bottom of your window. Uh, OK. 
Okay. Scout ship. The standard starship primarily used for scouting new territories equipped with FTL technology equipped with two turrets for protection. Uh, I would personally reword that using the word equip twice is sort of awkward. I would say something like the standard starship primarily used for scouting new territories equipped with a faster than light excuse me is equipped with faster than light technology comma and has two turrets for protection or something like that um, additional upgrades will increase the hull max weapons energy and max ship supplies Um, durable objects, galactic communications, uh, that seems good to me, I mean, if we meet anyone we want to be like, hey, don't, oh wait, that's cost 10, can't afford that, uh, okay. More weapon power maximum. Close that. Combat. Combat interface has now been activated. Remember, weapon consoles power the turrets while shield consoles maintain shields. Ooh, you know, I... do need more people. Our technology is very young. Have your best people working to make up the difference. I, uh, listen, I'm sorry. We need more crew. You can just stand at the bar, dog, okay? Wait, let me... Crew quarters. I will make the smallest crew quarters possible. Throw a bunk bed in there. Uh, there you go. Is there room for a table? There's not room for a table down here. Look, I, there is totally room for a table, but I can't throw a jukebox there. And a, and a plastic plant. Don't get drunk and pee on these. Although I suppose they're plastic and we can wash them off. Um. Recruitment, flight crew, uh, eeny meeny miny mo, energetic, hygienic, slow learner, slow eater, um, worth ethic looks low though. Okay, he has a high work ethic. Not a very high teamwork. Can we get someone who is like maybe in the middle? Yeah, there we go. You're hired. And um, do I want a more flight crew or the flight crew? The only ones who will be able to work in the bridge to do the shields and weapons and flying and stuff or like what do mechanics also do that I'm not really sure I guess I'll have another flight crew um. all right Ricky loving you're hired against my better judgment Open the ship's stats panel. I don't... Hold on. Mouse over the turret's firing button. Okay. Ah, okay. So, mouse... I mean, the keyboard one to fire. 
Alrighty. Open the ship stats panel. Oh, there we are. Okay, I will get to you in a minute. Crew members, hull. Is there like a power thing, like in game mechanics, or is this just a visual thing? Okay, well, I will close that and listen to you. Your crew is the lifeblood of the ship. Remember, we are here to train and help mankind flourish. Oh, so naive. Due to this, crew members will follow your orders to the letter. You can give crew members direction, oh, direct orders by ordering crew members to eat or work. You can also schedule their daily work. Okay, uh, this is this dude. Uh, right click an object to use it. No, how about uh, the bed? Doesn't appear I can go up over here. So how about go get a bite to eat? All right. Schedule. All right, but let me see this though. You cannot, yes, okay, so. Flight crew do, or excuse me, they are the only ones who seem to be able to do this stuff. Whereas the mechanic, I assume, just does maintenance. Well, actually, I think he was called maintenance. Was it? No, it was a mechanic. Schedule, that was here. You, morning. Uh, flight consoles, flight consoles, flight consoles, flight consoles, flight console, okay. Then after that we'll have him with free time, and then on shields. We'll have him. Let me see this. Now we'll have this guy. Do shields during these time. We'll have this guy shields during this time. And uh, weapons during this time. Oh, we don't have anyone on command. Does anyone really need to be in command? The answer is yes. Fix generators, fix objects, fix generators, fix objects. All right, so. I guess I should look at their attributes. Leadership. Oh, this dude is a much more of a leader than anyone else. So, command. Um, free time. You know what? No one is doing anything during this time. That's probably a bad idea. You know what? Shields. Um, alrighty. You know what? We. Okay, who? I guess there isn't something for. Oh, yeah, there is. Over here. So, I guess I should make one person the flight dude and 
Alrighty, so shields most of the time. Alrighty, that pretty much does that, I think. The flight status panel. The view of current dodge percent, whether anyone is flying the ship. Map of currently traversable locations. Set destination, okay. Can we go diagonal? It does appear we can go in any direction. There's alien presence. Oh, I see. The white is what it's supposed to be, and the red is... We don't know anything. So, let's go. Whoosh. All right, I think I will actually cut this here, and I will see you for actual gameplay in the next episode. Salutations, Nemo here, and welcome to episode two of the Sentient in Early Access. Uh, this will be gameplay, we already have something. Congratulations on your first successful jump. We truly are counting on you out there. If you encounter another member of Earth's fleet, they should be able to assist you in whatever you require. Begin the journey, okay? Um, sector map, our mission is to explore any and all anomalies in order to map the stars. Unlike FTL travel, movement is controlled via pilot or enabling autopilot system. Well, I did not put an autopilot in here, did I? I don't think I did. Um... And remember, select an anomaly. Alrighty, and I will select an anomaly. Have a flight crew member set up the flight stick or enable autopilot system. Uh, you can read that if you want to. Just gonna close it. Listen, people, someone, look, just freaking get there. Wait, who are you? Ricky, uh, no, who is this? Who do I have scheduled to fly? Randall. So, so Randall, okay, that's the commander chair. This is the flight chair. So, I guess I did click that correctly. Um, targeting monitor. Oh, I do have an autopilot system. Well then. Let us look at um, where was the map? I forget where the map is. It was here, wasn't it? Ship status. It's not hiding behind there. Do can I? Is it just automatically going? There. I'll fast forward, I suppose. I can't read what that dude is saying. Seriously? 
I mean, I just got new glasses, like, a couple months ago. And my monitor is sitting right in front of my face. I hope it wasn't anything important. Upon arrival, a small ship can be seen in the distance. It appears the ship is currently offline with no visible signs of life. I'm tempted to shoot at it, but considering this AI is sort of anti, you know, war, I think I will not do that. It's ignoring me. Uh, battle stations. Look, you. Um. I. Okay, look, you get over to the shield at least. Do we have shields online? Son of a bitch. You know what? I am just going to splice this into the first video. Um, and I will skip all the get to know you bullshit in the next episode. And um, get into the action. I have no idea how long this was. I didn't start my timer. Uh, but I will click reboot system to see where Okay So I will see you for some action next time Hopefully ooh, can I rename this? Can I can I? Okay, goodbye for real this time <laughs>